Eliza and welcome to Ambrosia Lifestyle. Today we're going to take a little journey to the core. I often get asked how, how can I work with a sequence for strengthening the core when I only have about five or ten minutes in my morning. So this sequence is actually geared towards strengthening the core and building some internal heat. Now abs are really important for a number of reasons. The first reason is the lower abdominals are connected to the lower back. So oftentimes people complain of lower back pain and it's due to a poor connection in the core, the core muscles. The second reason working the core is important for our health is that it aids digestion and the excretory system. So the more blood you have flowing into the vital organs, the more these digestive tract and the excretory system function optimally. The fourth reason, I think it's the third, <laughs> is because uh, working with the core strengthens our immune system. As I mentioned, a lot of the vital organs are here, so the more connection you have, the higher your immune system is. So let's get started. What you'll need is one block and a mat. Inhale, extend the leg up, and then patiently as you exhale, extend the leg down, and continue to reach through the ball of the foot as you lift the legs up. Let's take a few more rounds as you exhale, let the leg descend, and just let it hover over the ground momentarily. And just notice what sensations you feel in the core as you rest the leg down and gently switch hands, placing the right hand down behind the back, inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, let the leg descend. Just letting it hover, you'll begin to feel the heat in the core, and you'll also feel the lower abdominal muscles contracting. The idea here is really to keep a connection of the lower back pressing down firmly, and your fingers can get a visceral touch for the abdominal muscles as they're engaging. take a resting breath and feel internally for the muscles that have been engaged and then bring the block between the thighs for abs with a block for stage one have your feet down if your back is sensitive keep the, the feet on the ground for the remainder of the series inhale interlace the hands behind the neck press the back down as you hold your breath squeeze the block and as you exhale lift the head and the shoulders up gently pull your belly in and on the inhale rest Again, hold your breath, press the back firmly down, squeeze the legs, exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Belly pulls in, and then inhale again, rest the head and the shoulders. Hold, press the back down and squeeze the thighs, exhale, lift. Belly pulls in, and on the inhalation, relax. To move into stage two, bring the knees up, hold your breath, press the back down and squeeze the legs, and as you exhale, lift. Belly button pulls in and you'll begin to feel a deeper sensation through the core. On the exhalations, lift up and notice any tension in the face. Let that relax and inhale, release. Hold the breath again, press your back down, squeeze the thighs, exhale, lift. And on the inhalation, rest. Hold the breath, this time straighten the legs provided there's no back pain. Press the back firmly down. Squeeze your thighs, exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. As you feel the heat, pull belly in. Inhale, rest. Hold the breath, press the back down, squeeze the legs, exhale, lift on up. Press the belly in, inhale, rest. One more, feel the back press down, squeeze the legs. As you tremble, exhale, lift a little higher, and belly pulls in. Inhale, release, and as you exhale, take the feet down to stretch the abdominals out in bridge. Just graze the fingers of your fingertips against the heels of the feet, and as you inhale, lift the heart, exhale, press down through the feet, and engage the inner thigh muscles. Now notice, as you're breathing here, how the belly pulls in on the inhalation, and the heart and chest rise. Now on your next breath, place the hands onto the hips, 
And on your exhale, curl the pubic bone like a pelvic tilt towards the face and begin to lower the upper back, the mid back, and the lower back all the way down to create space for the lower back. Inhale, remove the block, and as you exhale, extend the legs forward and gently place the hands onto the abdomen, breathing and feeling the core connection. And that is the short sequence for Journey to the Core. Thank you for uh, tuning in. If you'd like more information, please visit www.ambrosia, A-M-B-R-O-S-I-A, lifestyle.com. Namaste.